Hey y'all, welcome to another day in the life of a gypsy housewife. In today's video, I'm doing a new vacuum review and unboxing. We've also got a new rug, which is going in the office, and I'm super excited about that. I'm also gonna be sharing a grocery haul and cooking a quick little dinner, so let's get right into it. Okay, so in today's video, I have yet another vacuum review. I just got this box in the mail today. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna give you all the details about the product and then we're gonna test it out. Y'all know what I'm gonna be testing it out on. Obviously, I'm gonna be trying it out on my floor, but I always make sure that any vacuum that I use sucks up the cat litter and the cat food because that's important to me. And cat hair as well. So anyways, let's get this box open. The cats are already trying to get into the box because they think it's for them. Kind of is, but. Anyways, let's get to it. So if you have been watching my recent videos, I was most recently staying at my grandma's and her vacuum just wasn't working for me anymore the way I wanted it to anyway. So I ended up getting a new vacuum while I was there. And this vacuum is actually from that same brand. This is the P9 cordless vacuum. So it's from the same brand, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. So the brand is Red Key. And I'm going to open it up now and let's see what's inside. Whoa, there's lots of stuff under there I didn't even realize. So this is everything that came in the box all laid out. We've got the main stick part of the vacuum. We've got an additional filter, a two-in-one upholstery cleaner, the battery charger, the detachable battery, and these are the screws that come for the wall mount. A crevice tool, the motorized floor brush, a mini motorized brush, which is pretty cool. I've never seen this kind of attachment before. And then we've got the wall mount, and then we also have the main unit. This has an LED display. It has three different suction modes and it also shows you the battery life on the display. Okay, so this is really cool. You actually turn it on by pressing this button. And then the options back here are Eco or Max. And you just press this button. And it gets stronger and stronger. I love how it's blowing out the wind. It's like I'm in a fashion shoot. Ah. All right, so we've got this piece here. I can attach this piece and use it like this. We've also got this attachment, which I have never seen before and I'm really excited to try. That looks awesome. Then we've got this one with the little brush head and it's actually movable. That's pretty neat. So you could use it just like that or if you want the extra bristles, you just press the button and do that. And of course, you could just use it this way. And then here is the longer stick, which attaches to this one. Nice. All right, so now that I've given you information about this P9 Red Key vacuum, we're gonna test it out on the floor. So I'm gonna be testing it out with probably some cat hair on the couch, cat litter, and then the cat food as well. So as you can see here, the cats left a surprise on the floor for me. They love to fling their litter out of the litter box, so that's why it's always important to me that a vacuum is able to pick up that litter because this stuff is not hard to get up sometimes. So let's go ahead and do a little tester. Okay, so that actually picked up the litter perfectly, just how I like it. But I'm gonna go ahead and add this attachment now, just so I can get in the corners of the door where it meets the floorboard, because there's a small gap there and the litter gets in there sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this little angled piece to get the extra pieces that were stuck in the corners and stuff. Thank you. 
that works perfectly for that type of stuff. If you ever have a hard time vacuuming up things that are against the baseboards or just in corners that are hard to reach, these little attachments work perfectly for that. I'm also going to try it down here where there is some crumbs, there's cat hair, and God only knows what else, but I'm going to use that little attachment piece to pick up that hair. So stuff like this that you see that it's not picking up is like dried paint on the floor that I'm gonna have to just scrape up myself. Obviously it's not gonna pick up with a vacuum, but this vacuum is working great so far. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this attachment on the couch because I wanna see if it will pick up the cat hair or even the cat. Woo! So there is some cat hair there on the couch. Let's go ahead and try it out. This is also pretty good for like vacuuming your pillows if you want to vacuum your pillows. <laughs> Which I do because I always have cat hair everywhere. So now I'm going to go ahead and use it on my rug. So this vacuum actually works great. I love it, no complaints. I love all of the attachments. I love that it's got the button back there where you can choose if you want it to go a little lighter or you need it to vacuum stronger. This is actually a great vacuum. I kinda wanna try it on my bedroom rug, so I think that's what we're gonna do now. All right, so it's time to test it on the cat food. There's cat food on the rug. I'm gonna vacuum it from the rug, but I'm also gonna put some of those pieces on the floor just to see if it'll come up off the floor good. So that works perfect. Not a cat kibble in sight. All right, so, so far, this is what the vacuum picked up. Honestly, my floor wasn't that bad today. Um, there's a lot of fuzz, cat hair in here, litter, food, bird seeds. I didn't get to film that part because my closet is so messy, but there was so many bird seeds and feathers on my closet floor. This thing picked it right up within seconds, no problem. Okay, let's get that fuzz out. Might have to pull it out with my hand. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there's some more up there. All right. Look at that, y'all. What even is that? I don't know if that's from my bedroom rug or if that's cat hair that it just randomly picked up, but oh my goodness. This worked great. Look at the cat food. The litter's mixed in there somewhere. The bird seeds. What, I, what even is this? Someone explain that to me, and there's some of my hair in there as well. I don't know where that came from. We're not gonna talk about it, but all I know is <laughs> the vacuum worked really good. So yeah, if you wanna check out the Red Key P9 cordless stick vacuum, I'm gonna have it linked down below. Now I'm just waiting on the mail to come. I've got something else in the mail I want to show y'all. It's really hot in here for some reason. The weather just turned and it got really hot outside out of nowhere when it was freezing last week. And I have my AC on, but it's not helping. I'm getting a little sweaty. So anyways, all right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. But yeah, check this out. I'll have a link down below. So I also wanted to show y'all my rug that Alan has been hand cleaning with a item we got from Timu. And I'm gonna stand right here to just show you the difference. If you can kind of see the difference in this side 
and this side. This is all the side that he's already worked on, and this is the side he's gonna work on. I'll show you it after it's complete, but I don't know if y'all remember my first Timu haul. I got this little scrub brush, like an automatic and rechargeable, and it came with different heads. And he's actually been scrubbing the rug with this and that new Mr. Clean spray that I told y'all about. And it's working out beautifully. You can just see the difference. Gorgeous. So this is what I wanted to show y'all. Not my new vacuum that's charging, but y'all. We got a new rug to go over here in the office area. I don't know if y'all noticed before, but we had gotten rid of the other one and we just got a new one in. So we're gonna roll it out and show y'all what it looks like. Here it is, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, Cannoli's already trying to scratch it. You better settle down, girl. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. Okay, so this is everything we got from the grocery store. All of this is from HEB, but we did stop in Walmart for a few other things and we did get a pack of water and a pack of the Walmart brand root beer. These are really good. I don't know what it is about them, but they're delicious. Um, the water is still out in the truck. Alan has to go get it, but we did get root beer and water from Walmart. So everything else is from HEB and I'm gonna show you piece by piece what we got and then I'm gonna tell you how much it all cost. So starting over here, I got a bottle of Mr. Clean Cleaner, the Gain scented one. I got a thing of HEB lemon scented disinfecting wipes. A lot of the groceries I get from HEB is HEB brand. Now HEB actually has three different brands. They have HEB brand, Hill Country brand, and then they do have one other brand which is called Central Market. I don't think I got anything from Central Market today, but most of the stuff is HEB or Hill Country. So I got a big old bag of oranges. I got some garlic powder, onion powder, and some paprika. A Red Bull for Alan. A can of black beans because I'm gonna be making some turkey meal preps. I got a thing of basmati rice because I'm gonna be making chicken kebabs and basmati rice. Some plastic spoons and forks. Some eggs. Some Little Debbie pecan spin wheels. Tasty cake cinnamon mini donuts. Three avocados for my avocado toast. We got some Roma tomatoes bell pepper, a lime, tomato and basil pasta sauce, some apple cinnamon oatmeal, some peanut and almond um, protein like chewy bars, some bananas, some corn on the cob, and a cucumber. We got some of this Cinna Mini Crunch. We actually wanted to compare it to like the actual name brand, but this one's H-E-B brand, so hopefully it's just as good. We're just gonna test it out. We got some Greek yogurt, lactose-free milk. We got a three-pack of steaks, ground beef, a big pack of chicken tenders, five cheese Texas toast, cinnamon applesauce in the little squeeze pouches. We got some ground turkey, some blueberry yogurt, Honest Kids apple juice, sunflower kernels, two of these, and of course, I already showed you the root beer from Walmart. But yeah, so this is my whole grocery haul and I'm gonna be sharing the price of um, the HEB groceries that we got. So let me go get my receipt, girls. Okay, so I logged into the HEB app and they had lots of coupons. So let me tell you the coupons that I got today. I got $1.50 off for um, spending $5 on cleaning products. I got $5 off of 20, that was anything HEB brand. And then I got another $5 off my basket and another $5 off my basket. I forget what the terms was, but um, basically I got $16.50 off in digital coupons and $1.90 off just from their HEB brand savings. My total came out to $102.78. That is really good. Um, in my opinion for all these groceries. You know, we'll make a thing of spaghetti with this and eat on that for a few days. Me and Alan will actually split one of these, so that's three meals. And then this will make several meals for us. And the turkey meal preps will also make several meals for us. So we've got several meals here for the week. And then 
little snacks and stuff too. I think we did really good and the coupons really helped and just H-E-B in general is fantastic, so. So yeah, 102.78 for all of this and I saved 18.40 in total, which I think was fabulous. So now I am making dinner. I know this looks really gross, but I've had it marinating all day in spices. I'm gonna cook it in my cast iron skillet. I'm also making corn on the cob and I'm also making a cucumber and tomato balsamic salad olive oil and balsamic and spices. All right, so I cut up my cucumbers and tomatoes. I'm gonna be seasoning it with salt and pepper. I'm using this balsamic vinegar some olive oil, but I'm also gonna drizzle a little bit of this organic extra virgin garlic flavored olive oil. And then of course, garlic powder and onion powder. And there's no measurements, I just kinda pour, pour, mix, taste, you know. Um, this thing I got from Timu, it's a pepper grinder, it's amazing, and I'm obsessed with it. I just did all my seasonings and oils and the vinegar. It tastes absolutely delicious. Gonna finish it off with some more pepper for fun. Anyways, I'm waiting for my um, cast iron to heat up and then I'm gonna throw that little steak all in there. Also, I got this from Timu. It's like a corn shucker. This thing works so good. I'm gonna show y'all. All right, so I'm holding it with a paper towel till I can figure out something else to hold it with. You just shave it like that and it takes all the corn off and it's so easy. Look at that. All right, so here is our plates. That one steak is for both of us, girl. We got that corn, that cucumber tomato salad. Alan's having his on the side. Delish. All right, now it's time to clean the kitchen and I would clean it on camera, but my battery's dying, so I'm just gonna give you a quick before look, even though it's not even that bad. And here she is after. I was able to sneak in a little few second clip of me cleaning and then um, my camera actually ran out of memory before it died. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.